Welcome to Rocco TV. In this video, you will learn how to achieve the polished concrete look on a non-concrete substrate using Rock Coat Smooth Set. There are seven steps to achieving this look. Step one, apply the base coats. Step two, prepare the surface. Step three, apply the Smooth Set. Step four, prepare the substrate and apply the second coat of Smooth Set. Step five, flatten the surface. Step six, polish the Smooth Set and step seven, perfect the polish. Gary Hill, the Rock Coat Technical Advisor, will walk you through the steps for applying Smooth Set to achieve the polished concrete look. When working with us on big walls, you should be working in a team. You don't want to do it by yourself. It'd be very, very hard. We need, obviously, our Smooth Set. A hawk, trowel, a Mr. Bottle for the water and masking tape if required to mask up six inches around the suffetes. Um, also handy to have a dusting down brush to clean. Nice clean rag to help clean your tools. You will also need a Venetian trowel and a paint scraper. When mixing your bag of smooth set with water, you will also have to add in pre-soaked microbac oxides to achieve the concrete colour. To achieve a light concrete colour, add 4 grams of the micro black oxide per kilogram of smooth set. Or for a darker concrete colour, add 8 grams of micro black oxides per kilogram of smooth set. Other colours can also be achieved using the micro oxides mixed with the smooth set. It is important that the oxides are soaked in water overnight before they are added to the smooth set. These micro black oxides will need to be mixed in really well with the smooth set to reduce the likelihood of oxide bursts. Refer to our website for steps on how to mix in oxides or contact Rockco directly. Step one is to prepare the substrate. Smooth set is a suitable finish coat over most substrates, providing they have been properly prepared. If you are unsure of which base coats are suitable for your substrate, please contact Rockco for advice or for a specification for your project. The key thing to remember when applying your base coats is to get them as flat and smooth as possible before the application of Smooth Set. You need to make sure that your base coat render is very flat and smoothish. Um, often guys will screed the walls, float it and then run over it with a steel trowel or a plastic float just to smooth the surface off to make it ready for the Smooth Set. If it needed patching up prior to putting the the smooth set on, depending on the size of the patch, of the hole, if it was deep, yes I'd go back to the Q-Render, if it was a little couple of little scratches, I'd use the smooth, smooth set and let it dry before I put my base coat on. Once the base coats are dry, step two is to prepare the surface of the base coats for the application of smooth set. Because the product's so fine, you don't want to have any little lumps of sand and cement coming up, because it will scratch and come through the surface. Give it a light mist of water just so I can control it a little bit more. Slows down the suction a little bit, slows down the drying. Gives me a wee bit more time to work it. Step three is to apply the first coat of Smooth Set. It is important to apply this as a tight coat. Realistically, you only need about a millimetre. So it's about half a mil each coat. So essentially, this, this is too thick. Now this product is designed to go on ultra thin. If you put it on too thick, you're never going to be able to finish it. You're going to get cracking, you're going to, it's going to end up like a marshmallow, you won't be able to finish it properly. If you see any contaminants, remove them straight away. It goes on tight applications, tight coats. Any little lumps, get rid of them now. What I'm trying to do is get it as flat as I can at this stage as well. Now I'm going to let that dry down. I'm going to walk away from it. So we'll leave that until that's dry. If we did, wanted to come over this again now, it would probably tear when we're trying to finish it. Just let this one dry right down and then we'll come back over it probably in a couple of hours. 
Some people will leave it till the next day, depending on the size of the wall. Just the job's going to dictate that. It's a good idea to keep tools clean. That's why we always have nice clean water, water brush. So generally what I do, if I've got something mixed, is I wipe the side of the bucket to make sure none of it goes hard. I get little crust, crustiness coming into my mix. So the whole idea is I've got clean sides, I've got no risk of getting any dried lumps in my mix when I go to use it next, because they will affect the final finish. Step four is the second application of Smooth Set. It is important to ensure that your tools are clean and free from dirt and dust at this stage in particular, as this is your final coat. Scrape away any of the unnecessary. Last thing we need at this stage is any little lumps of product getting into this finished coat. Um, also, I'll give the walls a light little scrape down and then finally a brush, brush off. This is to make sure we remove any little contaminants because any, any fine little grade of sand will put a scratch in it and very hard to get rid of. Just giving my little, a smooth set a bit of a stir up. On my second coat, if I've, uh, I generally like it a little bit wetter to apply. It makes it easy to apply in a finish. If you have it too stiff, all you get is a sore arm from trying to put it on. Well, and you, you don't want it too wet either. So here we go. Again, it's going on tight. And you can almost finish this as you go. If you put it on too thick, what will happen is it will set up at the background and set up at the, on the surface and you'll have like marshmallow in the middle. And when you're trying to finish, you'll get cracking and pulling apart. Best to go on fine. That's why it's important to get the substrate perfect before you even start. You haven't quite got the substrate either finished the way you want it. It's quite easy to put another tight one over it. Just avoid getting any garbage in it though. And then wash your tools. Because if you leave the tools too long with this product on it, it's very hard to get off. Step five is to flatten the surface of your smooth set. Ensure that there is no excess product on the surface and then add water to continue trailing to start to bring on a shine to the surface. You could use um, water to what we call polish it up, get a bit of fat up, as they call it. The fat's just a bit of cream that can actually help fill up any little holes as you go. Um, recommend just to use a little spray bottle. Uh, try and avoid using a water brush because when you flick the wall with a water brush you can get runs and it can actually wash the surface out. So it's just a case of spray a bit of um, water. Now it's a little bit where it's tearing there. Still a little bit soft underfoot. So we'll just let that go. You can get onto it too early with water, so just be careful. It starts tearing, pulling apart, walk away from it for a while. It's not a, it's not a hard product to use. It's probably hard, it's only as hard as you guys um, choose to make it. The whole purpose of this, what I'm doing here, is just get it a little bit flat and then I'm going to let it settle and then give it a hard trowel later on. Step six is to finish polishing the smooth set. It's also a good idea at this stage again to get rid of any possible contaminants from around the edge of the, your wall. So don't, you do not bring it up the wall when you're trying to hard trowel it. I think one of the, some issues that we do have with the guys are trying to finish it too early. You can let it set up, it's a quite user friendly product, you can actually polish it up when it's sort of quite hard. And the other thing is, the thickness is the key. Put it on too thick, you're going to struggle. It's never going to work. Another trail that's ideal for um, using on the smooth set is these Venetian trails, nice rounded edges. They're a very good um, grade of stainless, they don't burn. It, or burnish as much as what 
my other Marshalltown stainless steel trowel wheel. Um, it's just nice and flexible, makes it very nice to finish. To polish the smooth set, add water to the surface with a spray bottle and work it into the smooth set with your Venetian trowel. Ensure that the surface remains damp as you polish the smooth set at this stage. Just helps um, polish it. It helps flatten it a little bit. It should already be flat technically. And we can let that sit for a while now. If I did manage to get a scratch in it, it can be fixed. Because the product's nice and fine, it is very easy to patch if you, at this stage. Areas like this, see a little bit of tearing. Obviously, a little bit thicker in there. I'm just going to put a little bit over that. And again, let that dry. Last thing you want to do is keep playing with it because you can actually make it worse. So we'll leave that for a few minutes and come back to it. Make sure that you do another polish of the smooth set after you have patched any tears or scratches on the surface. Now some people like to create a little bit of character with it. Um, just depends on what they want, but similar to burnishing, then you just get the trowel and rub it in certain areas. It actually can bring a bit of darkness up. But you've got to watch and make sure if you're ever going to do this that you haven't got a scratch or a in your trowel because it will actually leave little marks and swirl marks and see where you've been. You can see there and there where it's actually made it pull out a little bit darker. This trowel will do the similar but um, slightly different stainless you won't get as much of the burnishing action. But all it's doing basically just darken some of the high spots that may be in it. You've got to wear, be wary with this one. See I've got a few little high spots in my rivets and that can cause this sort of thing. Ensure that you continue polishing the surface after you have burnished the areas that you want to be burnished. We've got, not using any water at the moment, but you can hear the trowel running across it. You hear that nice sharp noise. That's actually starting to polish it up a little. Now that feels rather smooth. Continue polishing the surface until you can see a clear shine on the substrate and you are happy with the level of sheen. Number one, substrate prep, get that right. Number two, don't put this on thick, it won't work. Two tight coats, let the first one dry, then put your second one on and then slowly work it the way you wish. If you would like any more information about how to achieve a polished concrete look or on Rock Coat Smooth Set, please feel free to give us a call on our toll free number or send us an email.